Another day gun. These guys are sure popular. Hmm. In my experience, well, it doesn't really matter. I played. But in my experience, isometric RPGs, partially because they tend to be uh, more designed for uh, an audience that likes RPG games, they tend to be more fun. But there's like definitely like ton of exceptions. Uh, like or 3D can be like amazing. Like I don't, I don't even know where to start listing it. But yeah, like it doesn't really matter. Just for you, Isometric definitely works better with a, a team-based RPG. Because when you're playing a, a 3D... Well, I suppose this is not going to be a major factor that the studio is going to consider. But when you're playing a, a 3D or just like first-person whatever RPG and you have a big party, like that's just kind of a mess. But in the isometric RPG, it really works. You know, it, it, it's, it's not a problem. It's easy to see what the hell is going on. And those games tend to be more uh, tactical. Hmm. The semblance of the it truly doesn't matter. Yeah, I like the companion interactions, having a rogue mage tank in part. Graphics are very low on your list of important things with an RPG. Yeah. I, I don't care about it either. <gasps> to this day, I I sometimes look at Fallout 2 and just like... I, I, it doesn't even register that like... You know the game doesn't look that good. Like it's it's fine. I can make out everything. It's it, it's great. I'm not sure what we want to do here. Well, I just go with the dwarven merc first. Ah, tired, not talk about that. Alright, that should be decent. <clears throat> yeah, my all-time favorite RPGs are Final Fantasy uh, 4 and 6. And they are both a bunch of pixels. I don't even know where to start. Like, if there's an RPG game, Western RPGs most of all. The chance that I played it is like 90%. I, I played them all. I'm just, I'm just really into them. Could you please type name of the mods you was talking about in the chat because I don't want to go through searching wrong things again. Well, I'm kind of tempted to just type in some prone mods for you because you seem to be quite into it before. But yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the mod. <clears throat> I'm playing Tyranny now, great combat. Adam, your stream only has a 1080p op option, by the way. I know. They don't care about me that much. They're just like, hey, whatever. I know you're not streaming to plebs. So, 1080p only for you. Wanna put the marks? Okay, we might keep that. Oh, let's go with that. Could you please type name of the mod? What? <laughs> Why did you repeat it? Fallout 76? <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Nizar. Come on, Nizar, don't spam. I don't want to kick you out. Please. Why would you do this? No funny, okay? I played Tyranny and I loved it. So, uh, yeah. 
Enjoy. That's just, just really good. And and I really admire Obsidian for having the boss that, you know what? We're just gonna make an RPG where you can be the bad guy. Or you're the, just straight up, you're just the bad guy. That's really cool. 25... Okay, that's... I think we need to slam uh, Gabor Zygrin there. Uh, but we need to commit the shots now. Yeah, let's go with that. You love Tyranny so much. The Spire mechanics. Huh. I really like this new age of... Uh, I don't know, Baldur Gate style RPGs. <laughs> I want to just call it isometric RPGs that uh, Obsidian is putting out. It started with Pillars of Eternity 1. Then Tyranny, then Pillars of Eternity 2. I think so far, they are all good. All good, but if I had to say which one of them was the best, or just lift them from best to worst, I would just say that the, the first Pillars of Eternity was the best, followed by Tyranny, or I don't know, kind of depends on your personal taste. I could easily see putting Tyranny first, but I think first Pillars of Eternity uh was pretty good uh the second pillars of eternity I, I felt like my hands were a little bit more tight than usual i didn't like it that much i, I like the game i just felt like the conclusion it, it's one of those games where you're just like having a loads of fun while playing it and you when you get to the end you were just hoping for more uh freedom Ultimately, but I don't want to spoil the damn thing. It's really good. Definitely recommend it. It does have that that powerful uh, effect that almost no RPGs really pull off. Is that it changes your mind? You you make up your mind, kind of relatively early. Something that just makes no sense or just crazy. That's something that. I don't want to spoil that thing. Just play the game. It's good. It makes you think. Divinity or Jones Sin? I played the first one. I played the second one, but I didn't finish the second one. Oh man, I should I, I should finish it. So he's leading by thirteen points. So, how many dwarfs I have? So this is an 8. That's not great. If I could somehow play Mahakam Volunteers, then follow it up with Zoltan Chivai, that would be really good. I think we gotta do that. Actually... This is an 11, so I, I'm gonna be at 47. It's actually just enough. Oh, 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 I can use a paint. Oh, plus no, no, we already got that plus one. Oh, plus the dwarves buffing. Oh, I forgot about that. But this is pretty sweet. Only problem is that we don't have any ways to... We don't have any resilient units other than Gabor Zygrin. And uh, even if we did get them, we would need to have the uh, a way to buff them up as well. <clears throat> Was Pathfinder Kingmaker any good? And if so, how does it compare to Divinity or John Sin series? Pathfinder Kingmaker, you're... I'm really glad you're bringing that up, and uh, it was a it was a good game. I didn't finish it yet. It was released buggy, but I don't know. I'm not sure how how to go about that game because I I stopped playing it. Just give them chance to kind of fix it, 
and I kind of want to return to it. I'm not sure if I should actually upload to the channel, but I know some of you do watch it, so maybe I'm just going to do that. Because, or or the thing is, I kind of stopped playing it. It was the, it was, it was a really epic adventure. The main character, my main character is called Dude. It, it leads for, to a lot of com comedic moments. I have my own empire, it's called Space. I'm, I'm the king of space. And uh, I named other dumb things as well. It's just like so dumb. And I love it. But I stopped playing it. And I need to get back to it. Holy crap. Also, the conversation is kind of interesting. Uh, but I was kind of disappointed that uh, I couldn't really... Uh, well, a lot of characters weren't voice acted. Adam, you still play Northguard? Uh, not anymore. That game was an uh, interesting take on uh, strategy games. Uh, I liked it. We'll ultimately stop playing it. It's a chill game. Uh, wow, what are we gonna do here? I'm not sure what to do with this Dagon. Are we gonna force him round two? We might just do that. So this is a uh, pretty damn strong. This is a nine. It's gonna get boosted as well. No, definitely not that. I think we're gonna force him. Alright, let's go. Remember, I used to play Pathfinder, pen and paper, RPG back in the days. I'm kind of jealous of that, or envious. Because I always wanted to try that with other people, but I never really got to it. Or just play board games with other people. Like, like not like very basic board games, but like the... Well, I suppose I more want to like play D&D. I, I would try that. I really like role-playing myself. Even when I'm playing RPG, I'm just like, I'm just voice acting the characters, just talking to myself, and like, people are just, if if people could see me, well, they, they could hear me through the door, and they're just like, what the fuck? Could you imagine, guys? One thing that you, you might not think about is when the content creators and streamers are recording, they're just like crazy people talking to their box, right? And that's exactly what I'm doing. I do generally talk to myself quite a bit. Kingmaker wasn't good. I have the same problem. I still can't end it. Oh, it's bugged. Did you say that you couldn't end it for like... When we were talking about it like months ago? Adam, I can move in with you to play D&D together. We're playing Gwent or Riot. What kind of roleplay you have in mind? Ha <laughs> ha! Leave it to us! Hmm. You would die, Woodland Spirit? I can be Dungeon Master if you let me play d and I let you? You mean like, we come together? I suppose we can do it online. One thing that I really wanted to get into, but I didn't really get into it, and the main thing is time. I'm not sure if any of you follow Critical Role, and that seems like a fun thing. Like, I I'm sub to Critical Role if I could just download the information in my brain of, of these excellent voice actors playing a game and like voice acting and well, it's I think it's voice acting and acting is basically the same thing uh, You basically do the same thing. You're just acting There's no difference 
Ultimately, I don't end up watching it because it's like I see like four hours. It's like, whoa, that's too long. Hey, Tanarov. The kind of roleplay where you spank me, daddy. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that didn't uh, get out of hand. <clears throat> What? Well, that's okay, but that's the only one he can eat. Uh, we have to assume that he might have the count. Now, we have a way to buff stuff in the hand, so... And that's really good for us. Uh, let's just... Have the highest unit we can have and try to buff Sheldon Skeggs as much as possible. If he plays something big, uh, we're gonna hit it. We could we could really get punished here. But I guess we're going YOLO. Is that Maha Kamaki? <laughs> Maha Kamis? Damn it. So that's a combination of Mahakam and Kamikaze. But I'm somehow really struggled to say it. Ooh, 15. Does he have the count? We have to hit it. Oh, looks like you were right. A lot of these monsters seem to be greedy about round two. They're like, enemy is not gonna push me, I'm gonna hold on to goals and whatnot. And, uh, they're kinda wrong. Anyway, GG, guys there. This really, the, the thing that really comes into play that I'm familiar with that deck, so I know how to beat it. I know where you are, when that particular deck is weak. And uh, we can abuse that. GG. A same monster? Looks like everyone is playing monsters. This is not a terrible hand. Just by the quality of cards we have. How many resilient cards? <clears throat> you always want to use your hero power. First thing, first turn. Right, let's go with Pafko. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. <clears throat> We can play when you get up to pro rank. Just uh, wait. You just wait. I'm gonna go up to pro rank and like beat you down to rank three or whatnot. In my opinion, they should reduce the amount of rank to total 15. I don't really like that they combined pro rank with just ranked. I never really liked the pro rank system. This guy has drowners too. What are you waiting for? Hector? A lot of people camp rank spots now, I think, since it's easier to slip down the ladder. I did that even before. 
That was the go-to way to hold on to your rank. That's not nothing really new. I can play Gabor Zygrin. And if I do that, we're gonna have another value generator. Let's go with that. The two power dwarf can die. This will be quick and painful. I don't know why they have the witchers. Yep, yeah, that that is annoying. So I can play this for nine. Keep that. Oh no, we need to shoot once at least. Then not shoot. Alright, that's good enough. <clears throat> they should have two ladders, means if if you must try hard in pro rank, can have fun, or you tank MMR, there's no other option. Casual is not a realistic option. It used to be a other way around for me. I used to care about ranked and just goof around in pro. And, uh, <gasps> yeah. A lot of the top players who just ended up in tournaments sometimes just took uh, games from me because I was playing my joke deck. And they're like, oh yeah, I was one of those deaths. He slayed me. We're in a good spot. A lot of immune units. I'm really surprised. Not now this is interesting. Will I? Let this go. What do you guys think? Because if we pass now, he will have to play another card to win, but he can't even pass to... Can't even pass to gain a card back. He's gonna fight me round two. This looks very juicy. Okay, we gotta go with the alternative win condition. And we're gonna pass. Must this have a lot of points? I know, but it's a bit crazy that we try to force a sh short round three against the monster guy big monster so pass seems okay mm, i want that to be strong for last round yeah we can boost that with king of beggars that's really good i don't want to you get rid of anything here. Okay. Keep this. It's a bit risky. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Just random. For 
I think he's gonna commit a lot more. Yes. Time I taught you some respect. Count. Okay, we want to buff Sheldon's gags. That's for sure. We need to take out the Mahakam defender here. Mahakam! It's kind of going as well as I could expect it to go. So we need to play the Marauder with the Marauder. Those things need to be played. And we might as well play Barkley as later. Yeah. Now this is tricky. Because this is gonna go up by one. So we technically have to only get eleven points. I can't use this guy because this is just too strong. But this doesn't get me eleven points, right? Oh this is this buffs too. Okay, here we go. So I can play this, and this technically gives me 10 points. We can go Barclay. So we have 27, and this is a 10. We can go Barclay. Doesn't matter, we can't play Sheldon's Kegs anyway. Now, do we play this resilient dude? Obviously not, we can't. That's just crazy. So we're gonna pass. And we get boosts, anyway. Really good. 8 points and 9 points. Pretty good. Quark plays enough. I suppose we didn't have to count. Either Barclay is enough by itself, or... We're just gonna follow it up with the other guy. Not that. Don't know about that. Well, that's six points. But it would really suck to get the other one. That's okay, guys. Just believe. I was too greedy. Is Zoltan worth running? Seems a bit meh. Um, he's okay. We'll put Mahakam boots to Imperial Arses. Come on, buff the right guy. Fight! Ah, the fish piss in lakes. <clears throat> Punished? Well, it was a one out of nine or one out of yeah, one out of eight. It was close. <sighs> Got a hearty hankering for Gwen. Yeah. Oh man, how could we do so many points? Right, right. Easy. 24 point gold seems good. GG, Hector. We had a better finisher. Well done.